Hey folks, it's Sebastian Bleak. This video is going to be for my Never Stop Learning post, week 93. Uh, what I'm going to be doing on this one is I'm going to be going over a uh, vinyl t-shirt printing workflow that I use uh, pretty much on a daily basis. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is by uh, setting up uh, something that I would do as a vinyl t-shirt print. Uh, it's going to be a Run DMC inspired uh, design, but I'm going to shape it to something that's uh, more personal to me. So I'm going to have it say Adobe Grind, uh, but it's going to have a similar look to the Run DMC one. All right, so what I'm going to do is lay down some text here. I got my type tool. I just click in the center of the screen, center justified, and I'm going to put in there in all caps Adobe Grind, and then hit uh, Control Enter to accept that. I'm just going to change the font real fast to Microgramma and uh, I'm going to make this guy bigger just kind of fill up the rest of the screen and uh, maybe bring them a little bit closer together this way and if you want to learn uh, some of these keyboard shortcuts I actually um, have a tutorial on my YouTube channel where I'm covering some of those so you go check those out at uh, Sebastian Bleak YouTube channel and that's how I'm going ahead and getting this whole thing set up here. All right, and since I'm doing vinyl t-shirt printing, I actually can't uh, use this as a font, so I need to outline it first. And what that does is it uh, turns it into a just basic shapes. So if you look into outline mode, it went in here and just uh, turned everything into anchor points and paths for me. So here I go back into preview mode. Next, to get that um, Run DMC look, I want to make uh, those bars that go across the top uh, kind of like this. And those are using a red, so I'll just uh, do in a red color right now to represent that. Okay, uh, let's see. How wide is my text? Right now it's about 7 inches. Let's make it 8 inches wide. And I'll make this bar to match 8 inches wide. Alright, there they go. And I'll align these guys to center so that way they're uh, lined up perfectly right here and um, I'll just make a copy of this bar by holding down the alt button clicking on it and dragging it down when I select all three of these guys I'll be able to distribute them evenly right here and I'll turn this into a group next what I want to do is um, create a weed border around here we use that for uh, when we're using vinyl t-shirt printing so this helps us uh, separate our artwork from the vinyl because it comes out in one big sheet and it's kind of hard to tell what's actually what and I'll just align it in there centered perfectly group that and if you take a look at this in outline mode you see this guy's pretty much ready to go um, and then what you'd want to do is go into um, make sure you check out the my never stop learning post week 93 to check out the next video uh, and you'll see what the next steps are as far as that goes. Um, you'd, a you'd actually be able to find that really easy if you go over to my website, SebastianBleak.com. Uh, when you go to SebastianBleak.com, you'll see a link on there for artwork. You just click on that, and that'll take you directly to my Never Stop Learning blog. And uh, you'll be able to check out the rest of the stuff I got going on there. All right, thanks. Have a good one.